Welcome guys to the opinion spot. Bonus fight, bonus fight, bonus fight. This is just my way of getting you guys licking your chops for uh, section four. Uh, this is a debate I think the Bennett family has been going through for a while in a way. And I leave it up to you guys, uh, my YouTube family, to decide on this fight. And uh, <laughs> it pits uh, Alan Scott, the original Green Lantern, versus Al Jordan, Green Lantern, considered the greatest Green Lantern, Silver Age Green Lantern. Yeah. Uh, this is a debate that's been going on for a while. Who's stronger? Who's the best? Uh, old school versus his successor. Uh, I just figured I'd do this for a bonus fight and to get your looks on it. So let's start it off. We're going to start off with Alan Scott. Alan Scott, of course, is the original Green Lantern. Everybody should know his power comes from the mystical star heart. It has nothing to do with the Green Lantern core. Uh, founding member of the JSA, father to Obsidian, father to Jade, but he's very, very powerful. Very powerful character. Uh, Alan's costume, I get a lot of people ask me about, you know, his costume looks so generic, so bland, you know, but I'm like, the costume is one thing, but the character is another. He's just a great character. Uh, pretty much anything Harold can do, Alan can do. Uh, but yeah, he is the original one, so he, there is a lot of respect amongst them. Those two characters, Hal and Alan, have met before. They've met a couple of times. Um, but uh, Al Alan is perhaps by the younger generation is not really looked at upon as a Green Lantern. And that's a shame because he is. He is the original one. And as we're all taught by growing up, we're supposed to respect our elders. <laughs> and not trying to say Alan is old, but you know, you got to respect them. Uh, the one thing I did find out about Alan Scott that I'm sorry, I got to laugh at it because it is so funny. Uh, his weakness <laughs> um, <laughs> Alan Scott's uh, weakness, believe it or not, <laughs> is <laughs> is wood. Um, yes, it was it was uh, revealed, and I'm forgetting what comic, but it was revealed that wood is his his weakness. It's not yellow or anything like that. It's it's wood. Uh, because Sportsmaster was able to knock him out with a wooden bat. And not saying that that's not possible, but it's just that I, I found that out recently that his weakness is wood. So I'm like, are you serious? As powerful as this guy is, and he is, you know, wood is his weakness. Uh, most importantly, another thing, Alan Scott's main enemy really is Solomon Grundy. A lot of people get it mixed up. Solomon Grundy is more of Alan Scott's enemy, but... He's still a great member of the JSA, and he's still living up to being a very powerful character. And that's Alan Scott. Okay. <laughs> so, I gave respect to the past. Um, Golden Age Green Lantern. Now it's time to give respect and just due to the Silver Age Green Lantern. And everybody should know who that is. That's Mr. Jordan. Hal Jordan, that is. Uh, considered the greatest Green Lantern. Uh, he patrols Sector 2814. Uh, uh, founding member of the Justice League. Hal and his fellow Green Lanterns, other fellow Earthling Green Lanterns, uh, Kyle Rayner, Guy Gardner, John Stewart, they are among the best, in my opinion. They are they separate themselves from the the alien lanterns pretty much because of one thing in my opinion they're human they give into their emotions a lot now how 
constructs. Let's talk about that. Hal has a vivid imagination, and the constructs that he creates are just great, cool, dynamic, you name it. Now, a lantern, the core lantern, there, it once was yellow was their weakness. That's not true anymore. Veteran lanterns can overcome that weakness now, and Hal was among the first to do it. It's more of a rookie lantern. They have to really overcome that now. But Hal has gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with a lot of enemies. Of course, Sinestro being one. Hal has been possessed by Parallax. He's been with the Spectre at one point. You know, he's had a He's had a dynamic comic book career, in my opinion. But it's him as a lantern that really, really gives him such popularity and the edge, in my opinion. Uh, it's always been that debate, you know, who's stronger, Green Lantern or Superman, you know, things like that. But he's such a loyal member of any team he's been a part of, and he does tend to give into his emotions and that's his strength too um and he's always willing to fight for the cause you know whenever there's a cause to fight for Hal's there you know and that's something that you got to respect about Hal no matter what you know he'll will always be remembered as lantern even though there are other earthling green lanterns but he is amongst the best in my opinion uh He's just a cool guy all around, you know. Nothing but love for Hal. I, I have nothing but love for Hal. Even in his darkest days, I always knew he would pull out of it. So, in terms, guys, of what if these two went at it? Mono a mono, one on one, full power. A full powered Alan and a full powered Hal. How would it go? I don't know. I mean, to me, who's the most veteran when it comes to the tactics? Who can make the most dynamic constructs? Which is more stronger, the star heart or the core battery ring? Basically? Oh, yeah, well... <laughs> or will Hal use Alan's weakness against him? Because, let's face it, yellow don't work on Hal. Uh, it's just a matter of you guys that I want to know. This is just a bonus fight that I figure would be cool for all my Green Lantern fans out there to really sit down and think if these two win at Who would win? Hal Jordan or Alan Scott? You guys decide. You guys tell me who wins this battle. I'd like to hear your thoughts. And as you see what that says, people, Section 4 kicks off next week. Two fights. Be there or be square. Mount Vernon Kid, out.